All right, so this is a talk on uh, SEMR, which is Carbon's high-level semantic IR representation. So firstly, if you don't know, uh, Carbon is a new programming language which has an emphasis on C++ interoperability, uh, really efficient compilations, uh, compartment evaluation, and a bunch of other things that aren't uh, relevant for this talk. In the design of Carbon, uh, we are trying to learn from C++, and in the design of the Carbon toolchain, we're tr uh, trying to learn from other toolchains, in particular Clang. So when we're talking about a semantic representation for Carbon, it makes sense to look at what uh, Clang is doing. So Clang's first um, persistent representation of the program is the Clang AST, um, which is formed from uh, parsing tokens, calling uh, SEMA, and then building this structure. So uh, for a simple max function, we produce a tree that looks like this. Uh, this uh, contains uh, syntactic information and semantic information, um, and it's a fairly traditional tree structure. Uh, there are some problems with this representation, though, that we've found over time. Uh, one of them is because it doesn't have a clear distinction between syntax and semantics, uh, certain things that you might do in tooling scenarios, such as wanting to know about the, uh, the syntax of the program, become quite difficult, and uh, the syntax and the semantic information kind of gets mingled together. Um, it, the semantic information is also a little bit incomplete. I mean, it's all sort of there, but um, it doesn't explicitly describe control flow. It doesn't describe where the structures are. And this means that tools that are looking at the AST and trying to understand what the program does have to duplicate all of that information about uh, what these AST nodes mean in terms of the semantics of the program. And uh, Clang IR, which is a, an MLIR, um, uh, I guess, dialect, um, is eventually going to fix this, but we don't have it yet. And the other thing is that despite putting a lot of effort into making the Clang AST like really compact and small, uh, it's still larger than we might like, and that required a lot of manual effort to do. So for Carbon, we're introducing a, a new IR format, which is um, at the same level in the lowering process as the Clang AST. Um, we use a data-oriented design philosophy, so everything is uh, done in dense arrays of data, which we access by index rather than by pointer. And so, for example, this means that uh, when we have our parse tree, which is stored separately from the semantic information, we get that down to, it's currently 12 bytes per parse node, and we think we can get it down to eight pretty easily. Um, and we have a purely semantic IR layer that doesn't, rep doesn't re um, repeat the parse tree information. Um, it's an SSA form. It has a uh, fixed size two operand instruction. Uh, as an example, this is the same kind of function as before. And some things that are worth uh, looking at here is we have explicit uh, control flow rather than it being implied by the, uh, um, the nodes in the uh, Clang AST. Uh, we use block arguments rather than phi nodes so that we can keep the uh, instructions uh, having a constant size. Um, we have high-level information here, such as the expression category. Uh, and we also have compile time and runtime uh, instructions in the same instruction stream, which is kind of a consequence of how the, uh, the carbon programming language works. So probably uh, a natural question, especially at this uh, conference, is why are we not using MLIR for a new uh, compiler-specific intermediate representation? And MLIR is awesome. It's uh, batteries included, super flexible. It's got all sorts of functionality and power, very extensible. Um, but all of that comes with a cost. Uh, I don't think these numbers are quite right, but um, the, the size of an instruction in uh, Carbon Center is about a fifth the size it would be if we represented it in, in MLIR. And there's uh, a lot less pointer chasing as well. Um, so after we have uh, Summer, what do we do next? Um, well, right now, the, the plan is we lower directly to all of MIR, and we also invoke uh, Clang as part of our interrupt story, and that also produces all of MIR. And that's uh, looking like it's going to work pretty well for us. Uh, but for peak performance, something that we might consider in the future is going via uh, an MLIR dialect for combined Carbon and uh, C++ representation. Uh, but I think we probably wouldn't do that for uh, development builds because we really care about the performance there. So in conclusion, the custom data representation that we've used has really helped us uh, achieve our performance goals for the Carbon toolchain. Uh, and data-oriented design as we're using it is uh, a really big part of that. Uh, if you can use it, it's probably worth it, uh, but it's not going to fit for uh, every scenario. Um, and similarly, if MLIR works for you, then uh, you should use it. But again, it's not going to work for every scenario.